Huh. A beauty. It's good to see the gang's all here. Great mare. Horse feet. Folk don't went mad. Lunged at Oh, this is that village that Yeah, the guy who cut his ear off lives in. Taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Uh, we might have had a hand in that. Trouble drawing any sense from that. Sorry. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line. Look, don't you think that guy's been through enough already? Okay, he kind of already had to cut off his ear. Oh boy. That is the forest dark ghost. Yeah. Well, see, there was this big thorny thing that was at the base of a tree, and then we had to go get bones, a horse, and 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 a third thing that escapes me at the moment. And then we had to stab it, and then it escaped inside the spirit of the horse. Like there was, it was very it was weird, was Baron. Not. There's a lot at play. But if you're ready to go, then I guess we're ready to go. I'll gather my men. Oh boy. I have a very bad feeling about this. Come on, Baron. Let's be on our way. Now be careful, Baron, when we're traveling through these swamps. There's, there's dangers about. Let's go ahead and get the swords out, because you never know when things are going to just spring out on you. What? What's the matter? Did I get too far ahead of you? I guess I did. God, I hate that. Why do NPCs never travel at the speeds you do? Oh, speaking of, hi, drowners. Ow. Ow. Get back. Oh, nope. That fire was in the wrong direction. There must be, yep, more of them over by our group of friends. Uh, really? There we go. Alright, so now I should be able to come over here and fire. Don't worry, Baron. I'm here to protect you. And the rest of your filthy crew. God. I hope you guys do realize this is a very ill-fated mission. But it's okay. I'm gonna get a bunch of loot out of this, so that's all that matters to me. Thank you kindly. What are you guys blathering about now? Is that your name, Brawny Burt? Well, I mean, you could go a little bit faster than quote at pace because my pace and your pace are slightly different. See, if I walk, I guess they do walk, but they kind of move it slightly faster than I do. And if I run, I absolutely outpace them. And there would be more fucking things. Fine. That rot fiend should be damaged enough to explode. Really? Surprised he didn't have an exploded already. Ooh, water hag, you're not gonna be fun. Come here, baby. I've got a treat for you. Where's she at? There you are. And how about that firebomb? Oh, of course. Like right as the firebomb was landing, she she dove into the water. What a bitch. Come here, rot fiend. Oh, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. There we are. And let's get close enough to... Nope, she ducked. Come here, baby. I just want to put my sword in you. Oh, that's too much. Too much to ask. There we are. Yay! Thank you for that water hag loot. Where's the other stuff? Oh, man, it looks like we lost a man or two in the struggle. That, uh... Huh. I guess they don't make henchmen like they used to, eh, Baron? Oh, looks like we are almost there. I think I see some necrofiends already inside the village. Uh, I have a very bad feeling about what befell our, our friends over here. Oh boy, wait. Why are the witch hunters here? Why is, why is the Baron's daughter here? Is that? Is that you, sweetie? Yes, it is. Hi. It's good to see you again. Why are you and your witch hunter friends? 
how did you know where your mother was? And... Oh, I have a ton of questions now. Come here. I want to talk to you. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't I you listen. Fear brought you new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. That's great and all. I have a lot more questions for you than me. that. Tomorrow, dear daughter, you return after. Ah, uh, I guess my questions oh, will have to wait. Don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. I t t point of order, that is kind of what we're here for. Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. Understatement of the year. I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Keep me out of your family squabbles. We've got a job to do here. Let's... Not argue and move on. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Thank you. Verily Thank I you, Geralt. You that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but Oh, and now it's Anna this douchebag again. Tasks so crudely. This is my commander. Uh huh. We have no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. I'm pretty sure you heard her just spouting eternal fire stuff a couple minutes ago, right? You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind to be fair, to he kind of did that one to himself. Witcher, will you help us? Do I have to? If I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. Yeah, it's a uh, no little spooky here. Crowns could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? They because we're still mm. alive. Search the village. Wow, Geralt. Well, I guess we gotta search the place, see if we can find Anna. I really hope they didn't do anything bad to her. Because the kids got away. And they would have been very angry about that. Oh, yeah. Two houses clear. I have a very bad feeling about what they're gonna find in the third one. Yeah, there's your painting. Over here. Can we destroy the painting, I wonder? Oh. Oh no. They turned her into a, that is her. You see the brands on the hand? They turned her into a water hag. I guess now we know what we're messing with. These crones are, are not to be underestimated. Yeah, yeah it is. I'm 90% sure of that. We must do something. Witcher! Look, I'm good about putting people to rest. I'm not exactly good about reversing these sort Something's of things. Coming. Get ready. Uh-oh. Um, oh shit. Uh, that is a that is a quest step that I don't really care for. <laughs> when it just tells you prepare for a fight, <laughs> I'm feeling this is about to be very very bad. Uh, but what, God, what am I going to be facing? I don't know. We've been facing a lot of necrophages so far. I'm going to go ahead and just assume that we'll be facing a couple of more drowners, possibly some. That'll help. Let's get the uh, decoction that. Regenerates my health. Good. And then we'll put back on that swallow potion. 
Oh, by the way, I made the enhanced thunderbolt to go along with my enhanced uh, dancing star. I was finally able to find a um, alkahest in order to do that. And yeah, hey Chihuahua, I think we are just about as ready as we can be for this fight. So. Oh, uh, let's see where they're gonna throw at us. I am scared. I am slightly more scared than I should be. Okay, we've got a couple of drowners. We called that one correctly. Kill the fiend. What fiend? All I see are a bunch of. Oh, and there's a water hag. Hi. Let's kill her because hopefully she doesn't do some like kind of corruption thing on the on Anna turn her against us prematurely. All right, come here, Drowner. I need you to die. I need you to die very quickly. Thank you. And there's this other Drowner over here. Nice. Oh, the Brewess. Where are you at, ladies? I know you all are here. I know you all can hear me. Oh my God. That is a fiend. Oh, ow. Uh, he, he stuns. He stuns very badly, and he regenerates, and he hurts very badly. Okay, so let's get some swallow potion going. Uh, since he's huge like that, I wonder if we can stun him with the axe he fell, and then get a couple of nice hits in. Oh shit! Didn't hit a single fucking one of those, but we can stun him again. I can try another one. Yeah, let's get that thunderbolt potion. Wow, it is up to a minute and a half of that thunderbolt potion now. That is pretty fancy. All right, so that should let me get nice and close again. Oh, wow, never mind. I actually just straight up turned him that time. <laughs> Did not mean to. Stun. And hit him. Hit him hard, boys. Keep him cornered. I should be able to do it again. Yes. Thank you for letting me be able to spend my adrenaline points. And let's stun him again. Oh my god. Ow. God, keep him in that fucking corner. I'm feeling that may be the only way we're gonna take him down easily. If this was a more fair fight, it would be a lot less fair. Woo! Let those ragdoll physics work their magic. What was that? That! It's a fiend to me. Yup! That was a beastie that the crone sent to put us down. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? No. Did you hear that part about how we're still Just alive? Which of you know of these things? You must. What? What's wrong with her? She. All right. Look. You need to calm down for just Easy. a second. Shouting won't help. Calm down. It's simple for you to say. How can I? That's my mother. Understand? He's on our side. I didn't think. Witcher. You know what is wrong with the woman. I have a vague idea. Okay, That's I can't really say too much more than like that. This. Must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Ooh. What maybe about Johnny. Yeah, Ooh. maybe Johnny. A boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Let's go Doesn't check in with the Godkin. He seems to know a lot more than he's cluing us in on. Uh, but first, I want to loot that body. Come here, beast. Where is your loot? Is it this pile of guts? Or is it another odd pile of guts? Yep, that's the one. Fiend's eye, fiend mutagen, and fiend poop. Great. Yay, just what I always wanted. Fiend poop. Oh well, I can loot this water hag. At least. Huh. And I wonder what else is in here. Witchers, not quite the devils that you thought. My evening with a vampire. Because now would be a pretty good chance to actually loot the shit out of this place. I, I, I doubt I'll get another clean opportunity like this. Those will be handy. Ooh, that is a secret trap door. Uh, let's go see what Johnny has to say first, and we'll come back to that secret trap door because I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on anything because I just so happen to get loot greedy. 
All right. On to find Johnny. Hey, what are you guys doing around Johnny's house? Get out of here. Get out of here. Scat. Scat, you stupid drowners. Ow. Water hags. I hate those things so much. They are, they are somehow worse than drowners, which are really just the most annoying enemy in this game. All right, now where's that hag? Hello, darling. How about some fire? Man, you really don't like being on fire, do you? How about some more? Ow. Oh. It's okay, dear. Don't lose your head. We have that reaction to all the women. Mm -hmm. Hey, Johnny. Are you home, buddy? Johnny. I killed all the creatures that were outside of your place. Johnny. It's okay. You can come out. We're for. He's not, not here, here, is he? Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. <sighs> Smart ass little kid. Probably went and hid somewhere. He ran through here. All right, fine. Let's go track his tracks and find out where he's hiding. Excuse me, excuse me, little deer. Did you happen to see a godkin run through here? He probably left little, little tracks somewhere. Ooh. Does it stop up here? It does. Johnny? Johnny! Hey, Johnny, what are you doing in this Johnny, little makeshift lean to? Oh, Witcher! You frightened me. Those vile hags. I Killed can understand why you dead. would be afraid of them, but don't worry. Sent them to punish me. Oh. For what? Get on the crone's bad side. I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Oh, well, yeah, I can it. see. I can see that. They seem, She's the witches seem, or the uh, crones seem to be a little bit more sensitive. Out here without him. She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran. But they were angry she'd let the children escape. And they turned her into a water hag. So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort hmm. it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working yeah, work, straining so through ashes to find to poppy seeds would be a little bit difficult. Nowhere. Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. Right. She yelled at me to hide. Which is how you knew it was her. I called into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tossed in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Hmm. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Ah, we found that door. Down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why did they need her hair? Why the Weavest need Gran's hair? I assume no to perform the, the curse, maybe. To hear all. Gives them power over power folks' lives. Yeah, okay, there you go. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Interesting. We'll have to check and see if they have any other take a look locks of hair we I might be interested in. You. No, you do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. I guess that's a fair point, kid. You're still alive, aren't you? Stay in the chest until the crones left. Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. I Do imagine that was probably do? not a pleasant so process. Thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. I don't know what kind of so herbs would be herbs. able to help with that. It. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Brewest piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Yeah, that sounds then like the them. Best says, run, boy. Run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. Yeah, probably a smart idea. What you gonna do now? You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do, but I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide, and I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. I mean, to be fair, it's not exactly far away from 
where they are, so you might want to just go another distance. We got to rescue the, the water hag and see about putting these crones down for good, or else the Baron's going to kill himself and all these witch hunters are out there. Good luck to you. It's okay, Johnny. We have our work cut out for us. You got it. Farewell, Johnny. A neat little character. Kind of hoping we'll run into you again. Tell the others what happened to Anna. All right, so let's go back and relate our story and our findings, what we uh, learned from our little god can, buddy. Hey everybody, I got some news. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar into the house. Cellar door is hidden. I mean, it's hidden, but it's not really the most hidden. I work alone. This matter concerns us all. I'm we sure it does and all, but listen, you don't want to be in there when I'm working my magic. Make alone. I am the Church of Eternal Fire's agent in these lands. It is my duty to go with you. Fine. Uh, Just you then. The rest stay here with Anna. Let me I go guess first. To, I mean, give you a shout if I find anything interesting. Exactly. So be it. Let's begin. I knew. I mean, I figure he's probably going to go in with us either way. I chose, but. Witcher does kind of work alone. So, we know where the hidden door's at. It's over here. It's this one. Um, but I'm just curious if anything else has popped up in here now. It doesn't look like it. Alright, so let's... Let's see. Find out what's in this creepy cellar downstairs, shall we? Um, some alchemist powders and some pastes. Ooh, delicious bread. Oh, that's a shrine. That's more than a little creepy. By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Oh. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on but individual that, souls this way. That flower. One of the dolls represents Anna. Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of, but there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? Yeah, and the flower they and the feather. They the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. You know, that's actually a really good question. I mean, I know he's Seems supposed to be a, a studied man and all. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Mm -hmm. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. What man? Neither have I. Oh, really? So there's some... Some head of the witch hunters that this we... Mm, I hope we run into him. One shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to oh, shit. All right. Of course. Let's take a look at these dolls. Shitty shit. Well, we're only going to get one shot at this. All right, so let's take a look at the doll with the red bead. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As to half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg, this cannot be the one. Well, let's take a look at the other dolls. Right. I mean, he, he makes right. a good point. I'll look at the others. What about the one with the bird feathers? <sighs> bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Really? Heart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her no, and her feathers. No, that might actually be Yennefer. Because of the raven aspect. This doll in 
fact mm. symbolizes Anna. I don't know. No, nope, let's look at the others. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. And then there's the one with the human ear, which probably belongs to ear attached to this one. The guy in, in Down Warren. Peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. And then there's the one with the violet hollyhock mm. bloom. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? No, it's Not specifically a violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite. Flower. I mean, that's got to be the right one, right? You believe this to be the doll. I'm sure it is. Taking it. It's got to be that one. It's her favorite flower. It's still kind of glowing. Quick, outside. Oh boy, we'll see if we made the right choice there. But in the meantime, I have a feeling the crones are not going to be too Mom, pleased. Oh man! Hi. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. I think she might know a little bit more than you give her credit for, Baron. Just, you might want to hear her out. You're weak yet. You must rest. The crones are not going to be very pleased. Me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Mm-hmm. We freed her, but that's... What's she talking about, Witcher? It's the end of the line. Like they they free we we broke the spell, but at the end of the spell she dies. Like the crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. You really got to read the fine print in that contract. What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry. At least she's coherent for these last couple of moments. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. No! I thank you. We had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. I'm actually really surprised that the crones the haven't shown their faces yet. Pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. <laughs> if you really think this is all about the money, Baron, then you really haven't learned anything. <laughs> Which makes it no easier to bear. Maybe, maybe Leave not. me alone. Maybe go. I'm sorry, Tamara. Let's give her a moment. God, Tamara. that. Once she has come. Some heavy, heavy shit. Yes, sir. Wow. I guess we could return down to, um. Crow's perch and finish up this part with the Baron. Man, this whole storyline is just dark as dark Scrap could be. I'm here looking for the Baron. Oh no. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. <laughs> Himself? What did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? 
No, but you seem you awfully content with it. A right bastard. But I respected it. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Wow. Know the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Varen would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Oh my god! I did choose all that! Oh my god! Everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you I mean, do? Sit and wail? This kind of part of life for them. Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. What do you mean? I imagine they will. Different. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I believe that is that is the tale of Velen wrapped up nice and oh, unfortunately neatly here. Oh God! So I freed the children, but in doing so, it. <laughs> It caused a man who was trying to come around to being a decent human being to... Oh my god. What the fuck, game? And with that incredibly dark ending to the first chapter of the game, we learn that choices really do have consequences. I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful as we go forward. But hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because it gets a lot deeper from here.